hi everyone this is case number 5 of msk series this case uh, is uh, 18 year old patient presented with dull right ankle pain pain 3 weeks duration so this is x-ray this is an anteroposterior radiograph of the right distal tibia and fibula in a skeletally mature patient the abnormalities in this region the distal tbl metaphysis and uh, metadivisy region so it's a well defined or geographic type of lytic lesion with sclerotic margin it has a lobulated outline and as evidence of uh, some sclerotic areas and uh, you can see the expansion of the bone however cortex is intact there is endosteus scalloping in this region no cortical breach no soft tissue component in this region no periosteal reactions no complications like pathological fractures you can't see any Synchronous lesions in the fibula or rest of the tibia. Epiphysis is relatively spared. So, it's a benign lesion. And no complications. So, the diagnosis of this lesion is point fibroma you call it uh, fibrous cortical defect if it is less than three centimeters and uh, the differential diagnosis are uh, aneurysmal bone cyst chondromic soid fibroma young children fibrous dysplasia should also be considered. There are a few features. So it is common in the first and second decade of life. And it's an eccentric lesion, sometimes multilobulated. And uh, sometimes some marginal sclerosis is there. So the, it's a benign lesion. Surgically, do not touch lesions unless there is a fracture. So, the, uh, it can be associated with few syndromes. One, one syndrome is neurofibromatosis type 1. Other one is Jaffe Campanacci syndrome. In these syndromes, there are multiple non-nosipoint fibromas. So that ends case number 5. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and you can give comments for these uh, videos. And thank you.